What's up everybody? I hope you're doing well. It has been a minute since I've done a technology tutorial and I like making them. So today I'm gonna take you along for the ride while I set up a brand new website completely from scratch using Squarespace. Now this tutorial is designed for folks who are allergic to technology. I am using Squarespace because I'll be honest with you, I think it's the easiest one to use while looking the most beautiful, while having the most like SEO and other technologically important capabilities. And yes, it's also what I teach from in my course, teaching you how to DIY your website. If you're the type who likes to watch things unfold in real time, then I'll link below to a much slower version of this video if this one feels like it's going too quickly for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up a website using Squarespace. Squarespace.com. Of course, if you already have a login, you can log in here. Most of us are gonna be clicking get started. They ask you this question right away, what your site's about. I just skip it. I haven't made a new website with Squarespace in three years, and this is new. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the professionally designed website template. Squarespace has a bunch of beautifully designed templates by designers, you know, their whole job is to make beautiful websites. So my recommendation is to pick a website that you think fits your aesthetic, you like how it looks in general, and then try to stick to that general aesthetic while you do the rest of your website. Try not to change a bunch of colors or fonts because then it starts to get a little sloppy looking. I'm not a designer, so if I start tweaking things myself, I end up making it look worse. And I've done that now for a couple of my therapist websites and I don't wanna do it anymore. So they're trying to hone in on which professional websites to show you. And I suggest starting with professional services. These are gonna kind of fit our needs best. Okay, so now I click on this and they give me 40 template matches. As you scroll through these, don't worry about the photographs. We're just looking for like vibes. You're gonna change the pictures, you're gonna change the words, but do you like the colors? Do you like the fonts, the way it feels? I like this one. It's gonna give you a preview when you first look at it and you can just kind of feel out like, do you like the layouts and the colors and fonts? You can also click over to the mobile design, which I highly recommend doing throughout the entire process of building your website because more than half of people use their phones when they're searching for a therapist. So you wanna make sure it looks good on a phone. So I'm gonna say, start with this design. This is the part where you set up an account. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my account and I'll catch up with you in a sec. Okay, they're gonna ask you some questions. You can adjust your answers to these questions later. So if you're not sure of the answers, you can just kind of put a placeholder. Your site title is actually quite important when it comes to SEO, but if you're not sure, you can put your name. Like that's totally fine. Um, and I think for those of us who are allergic to technology and don't wanna do a deep dive in SEO, you can do one of these. All good. This is great. They give you a little demo here as well. I'm gonna give you a demo, so let's keep going. Okay, so now we just see our template here that we were just looking at. The only difference is it's gonna have your site title up here. So what I suggest is that you start by setting up the text of your website. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then you can go back and change the pictures and things like that. Now you click edit right here. So keep in mind, this is just a tutorial for like how to use Squarespace. And I'm not gonna talk you through things like SEO and how to make your website user-friendly, optimized, et cetera. So I'm just gonna show you how to use their editor. So to change text anywhere, you just go ahead and click on it. And then you can go ahead and type something different. This isn't necessarily what I would suggest titling your site, but I'm just showing you how to use the editor. I'm literally just making this up on the fly. Okay, so that's how you edit the text. If there's anything in general that you wanna change as far as the design of the text on your website, you can click it once and you know you could do things like change the alignment or whatever. Um, you can then click this button or if you click it two times, it'll take you to the same spot. And here you can change things like make your text bold. I don't even remember what that is. Highlight it, I guess. Okay, cool. So you can explore the different features here. Uh, oh, sure, why not? I'll leave it like that. Okay, a couple of other things I would suggest is um, making sure there's an about section somewhere pretty close to below the fold, like right here. So if you wanna add a section, you just hover in this area and it says add section, you click on that. And then there's categories of sections. So they make it super easy for you. So you just click on about, and I suggest you put a picture of yourself if you were a solo practice in particular um, in your little about blurb. And these all match the overall design of the website. You can just pick the one that you like best or fits well. 
I'm just gonna pick this one for now. You can still customize it once you're here. If there's anything in there that you're not super into, you can just get rid of it. You can also edit the entire section that you're in by clicking up here. There's lots of features that you could change here. So if I wanted some art over there or whatever, I wouldn't make it too busy if I were you. You can also change the colors of that section in a way that still aligns with the overall design. You can explore and see if there's something else that you kind of like. Maybe I'll try this one. So feel free to explore what's available or if that's overwhelming, don't change the design, just stick with it. So this was supposed to be an about section, but um, it doesn't necessarily look like that. So here we can just click add block and click text. Oh, it did put it up here. So if we wanna move it, hover over it. And then when it's this little tiny hand, you can click and gra drag it down wherever you want. And I would suggest after this, you have a button and we'll bring it, we'll bring it down here. And this button should take people to your about page. So if you click on it, click this little pencil, then you can change what it says about me and then attach link. You can actually just hover over the URL and take them to the existing about page where they can learn more about you. If you wanna edit the photo, you can just go ahead. I'll show you what I just did there. Click on any picture. This is true of any image. You click on the image, click on the little pencil icon, and you can, I mean, you can change a lot about the existing picture or you can click replace, upload a file. Let me see if I can find some headshot. Honestly, I need new headshots, but this is what I have right now. They're from 2020. It's time for me to get new headshots. Don't forget the mobile view. They're reminding us to check that that section also looks good in the mobile view. You can still move things around here. Let's see that. Yeah, that is kind of tricky, huh? What if I want it to look like that on mobile? Will it, will it take me back nicely? Let's see. Let me switch back. Yeah, that still works. Now with this button, when people click on this, it's going to take you to this about page up here. Okay, then you can keep adding sections as you go. Two other sections that I, suggest the average therapist would have on their website are a services section and a contact section. So um, services, again, they make it so easy. Just click services. They're gonna give you like a couple columns. I like the ones with a couple columns, to be honest, but you can choose whatever you want. Like you can get creative. Why not? Let's try this one. And so this services section is gonna say, you know, it's gonna be like individual therapy, blah, blah, blah. See, you just click on it and type. And then over here, this one already has buttons built in, which I very much suggest you do so that each of these buttons takes people to that services page. You could put individual therapy, you could put learn more, um, and then attach link. Again, if you already have created that services page, you just have it linked there so that when they click that button, it's gonna take, you, take them to the individual therapy services page. And then I also suggest having a contact section right on your homepage. Click contact and there's so many options. So go ahead and pick one that works well for you. Um, you could do one where it has the contact thing built in. Consider HIPAA, et cetera, before using a contact form. Personally, I prefer to just have my contact info listed. So if you want, you could like delete this and then you could just hover over here, add block, put some text. So there's lots of ways you could change it. Some other things you would want to consider changing while you're on the homepage are the header and the footer. So this is the header up here. The footer is just this whole thing down here. If you hover over that section, it lets you hover the header and the header and the footer look exactly the same on every single page. So whatever you're editing here is going to show up um, as such on all of your pages. And you could either add elements like a button which I do recommend having like a contact me button here and have that take them to your contact page if you have one yet, which maybe you don't yet, but you could make sure it goes to the contact page. You can also edit the design in general. There's so much customization you could look into. Now, if there's things about your navigation you wanna change, you can either go this way or if you're in the editor, you can just click save. Well, I already saved it. So you can click exit. And this is where you can see the same pages that show up right up here. Here, you can click on the page here and then it'll take you to that page. And then you can go back into edit. We did not make a contact page yet. So let's go ahead and show you how to create a page. So back here, once we exit the editor and we see this side panel open, you can click the plus sign. I would click page layouts. And then again, back here, let's select a contact page. Here's a great looking contact us page. I don't need it to say contact five. Whatever the text is here is how it's going to appear up in your navigation bar up top. If you need to edit it, 
you can change it here. I'm not gonna get too into the techie stuff. So I'll just say for today's purposes, if you're allergic to technology, just keep this page title and navigation title the same. So if you wanna change the name of it, contact me or whatever it might be. You could do it on both if you want. You can just go like that. And now it says, contact me. I'm gonna remove book a consultation and I'm gonna remove gallery. Okay, I generally think it's a great idea if you can let your services page be a drop down menu. So I'm gonna show you how to create a drop down menu, meaning when you hover over the services page, then it'll show several options kind of that float right here. So in order to do that, you click this plus sign here, scroll to the bottom, and then you can click drop down. I'm gonna title this services and I'm actually gonna delete the demo services. So now we have our services page. When you move this, it changes the order that it shows up up here. I'm gonna put services over here. It says this dropdown is empty and then you just continue on with the same structure where you click on add page. Go ahead and click page layouts and back to services. So it's up to you how you want to structure it. Why not? I'll click on this one. This will be one of your services pages. So individual now you can see we have this page, Individual Therapy, as our first services page. And when you hover over services, you see Individual Therapy pop up, which is great. And of course, again, you will need to edit this page. So you click Edit, and you can change anything you'd like about it. Say so Save. Exit. Now, if let's say you set up this individual therapy services page and you just really like how it's looking, you want all of your services pages to use the same format, click that gear icon right over here, scroll down, and it says duplicate page. Let's bring this guy up here. It should, yeah, it does let us either put it on its own in the navigation bar or put it in the folder. So it's a copy, so now we're gonna need to change the name. I forgot what my other services were now, but let's say it was that and I'll copy it and I'll paste it. So now, now we have couples therapy page and we can edit that. After that, you could edit your contact me page. Perhaps if you are a solo practice, you might like it to say me. So that's clear. Change anything you'd like about it. Again, same format. If you don't like the way it is, you can um, change the sections. Here's one with the map. So. I like the ones with the maps. If you have a brick and mortar office, definitely recommend using a map. So as everything else, you click on it and it, you can edit it and the design you can change for the maps like that. You can add the, the controls so people can zoom in. In the content section, you can put your business name, which this is great for SEO, and then go ahead and add your address to your brick and mortar over here. And then before you know it, you got a website going and you're gonna wanna click through everything and make sure you like the way it looks. There's probably gonna be a bunch of stuff on the pages from the template that you don't wanna keep. So if that's true about any section, then just hover into a section and you can click remove and it'll remove it. So just make sure you wanna remove that section. If you ever do anything that you did not like, there's an undo and I didn't talk about it, but make sure the footer <laughs> is not the demo footer anymore either. And as you go through, make just make sure all of your links work. Um, I probably didn't do that yet. So you just go ahead and make sure everything goes somewhere. Um, have it go instead to the contact me page right there, which we pretended we made already. <laughs> At this point, you could go ahead and publish it if once we're all saved up and we can go back to home. By the way, if you wanna come back to where we were in the editor, you just click website and you can see all the pages here. I don't know why those got highlighted. Now in this section, there's some links that you might not need like selling, for example, you're probably not gonna use that, but um, it is useful to know that the analytics are here. It's a new website, so there's no information, but this can tell you about visitors coming to your website, how they found you, did they find you in a Google search or did they click on a link in an email or whatever it was. And you might also be interested in checking out the settings tab. In particular, that settings tab is where you need to go to connect your website to a domain. If you have a domain already that you purchased through somewhere else, GoDaddy Namecheap, you can click use a domain I own and it'll walk you through the steps to connect those. Or you can get a domain from Squarespace. If you're going to get a domain from Squarespace, hold off for a second because you can have it included in your plan when you go ahead and purchase up here. So if you're connecting a domain from somewhere else, 
go ahead and connect it here and then go to website. Either way, whether you've connected an existing domain or you're going to buy a domain from Squarespace, head over to website under settings and click on site availability. And this is where you can publish your website. Now you have to purchase a plan to do that. But what I wanted to point out is if you purchase an annual plan, if you pay it once a year, it'll save you 30% and it will include a custom domain. But I think for now I'm gonna leave off here. I hope this was helpful to you. Of course, there's tips above and beyond what I've shared here to optimize your website and make it, you know, the most incredible website ever. <laughs> but if you're so terrified about making a website that you're like paralyzed and you haven't made one or the one you have is really out of date or whatever it might be, hopefully this makes it feel accessible to just go ahead and do it. You can go back and change any of these things at any time. It may sound like this video is a giant ad for Squarespace. This is not sponsored by Squarespace. I do have an affiliate link for Squarespace. If you sign up for Squarespace using my link, it doesn't cost you any extra, but because it's affiliated with me, I get a little bit of commission from the sale because, you know, I told you about Squarespace. So that does help me out. So thank you to all of you who've used that link before. I genuinely just like Squarespace. <laughs> and before we close, I want to thank therapynotes.com for sponsoring this video. Therapy Notes helps with all of your practice management needs from schedule to notes to billing. They have a HIPAA secure telehealth platform and so much more. So if you'd like to check out Therapy Notes, you can get two months to try it for free with no commitment just by clicking the link in the description of this video. I hope you enjoy the process of building your website. It can be fun. It really can. I enjoy it. Whether you love it or not, I hope you found this encouraging and useful. I hope your website turns out awesome. Until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well.